Hello and good morning. I am early. Our normal scheduled broadcast time is 11.30 a.m. We're still going to have that today, uh, but I shared with you all that I, I think I was on this platform when I shared that, that I'm absolutely loving the opportunity to do Audible Live. Um, I think it's a great tool for those of you who want to get in the practice of going live, although every new level of connection that you make for uh, potential clients and customers by way of them being able to make a direct connect with you um, is even better in some cases as you're building your brand. But I wanted to begin <clears throat> uh, the process of what we'll be talking about on our broadcast later on today and just share a few thoughts around it. I'm actually going to share about 10 to 12 things as it relates to emotional intelligence. And I wanted to get the, the, the ball rolling early this morning uh, before our broadcast at 11.30 so that I could be assured to complete it um, on today so that we can move on to um, another high space of growing our business and our life for our Wednesday broadcast. If this is your first time on a broadcast with me, hello, how are you? If you're catching me on the replay, hello. Um, be sure uh, to put in the comments your name, the city, state, or country that you're listening from, and what you do in the marketplace. How is it that you serve in the marketplace? How are people blessed with your products and your services? And secondly, if this is not your first time at the rodeo catching me on a live training or uh, just being on a training even after uh, it's live put hashtag renew in the comments hashtag renew in the comments so first what is emotional intelligence i want to talk about how emotional intelligence impacts your life and your business and how it causes you to actually operate in a space of dominion. So much of what we face and endure in life um, definitely impacts and affects our emotions. And our ability to uh, be aware, that's the very first step of anything, of our emotions or how we're being impacted uh, is a great tool for us to be able to move forward, operate as champions, gain dominion, and you know push to new heights in our our business and in our life. I shared on a recent post how you know just in the last two to three years, I have gone through uh, a divorce from a fourteen year marriage that was rather dysfunctional. Uh, moved to a completely different city with my daughter, reinvented, rebranded my business, replaced my income, and am now experiencing more time freedom than ever. In that same process, I've helped several women in business to increase their revenue, um, save time uh, in, in the amount of work that they're doing and just really change their lives. And so I was thinking about that process because I do understand that, um, or what I'm beginning to understand is that not everyone functions at that um, pace. And I begin, as I begin uh, really learning myself, this has been some years ago now that I went on this journey to really understand you know, who I was. I think at the age of like 25, I started asking God questions like, you know, what is my purpose? And so I think that's when I really began to uh, become more inquisitive about, you know, who I was. But one of the things that I had heard was emotional intelligence. And let me give you a definition for emotional intelligence. Now, this is not to tell anyone how to walk through their process. However, for those who want to um, move at a different pace, for those who want to not allow adversity and um, failures to dictate their lives, then I am the coach that's going to help you create a future bigger than your past and also walk in it. So everybody does it different, but I understand that I attract highly driven women. And it doesn't mean that 
in the process of life happening that you don't assess and give yourself time to appropriately feel well um, whenever you're facing challenges or things of that nature, but you actually use tools while you are in the midst of what you may be facing, something that you hadn't planned that may happen because my pastor says, life happens, it'll flip on you. And I remember her saying that and I was like, wow, that's so true. And so this isn't a space to say, you just act as if things aren't happening in your life. No, but this is a space to be able to give you tools so that as they're occurring, you're already equipped so that you can either overcome adversity or you can push through it. Doesn't mean you won't have small pauses um, in between, but just a space to be able to um, continue to smash your goals and your dreams and the big vision that you have for your life in the process. I believe that vision is actually the actual tool that allows you to overcome adversity quickly. I believe when you're fully connected and aligned and in belief with a vision bigger than where you are, it helps you to overcome what you may face uh, quicker. So let's talk about um, emotional intelligence. Here's the definition for emotional intelligence. The capacity to be aware of and I share with you all that awareness is the first key. It's the first key. It's actually um, part of a tool that I teach uh, in, in several of my trainings and courses. So maybe this is your first time. I am a transformational growth strategist, business coach, and mentor to women in business who want to brand, build, and profit in their business while they're growing their lives. And my teachings and trainings focus on abundance mindset principles, a personal growth and business building. I believe that they are the special three. I believe when those three things are in place as you're building uh, your business, if you're focusing on your abundant mindset, your personal growth and your business strategies, you get the most amazing results uh, quicker, sooner, faster. And so I teach from a full circle perspective, the women that I work with get their whole life. So not only do they increase their income, but their time freedom is increased um, their awareness about who they are and their identity is made known and they really create businesses that fund their lifestyle and not run their lifestyle. And on this morning, we're talking about how emotional intelligence helps you to maneuver through this thing. Uh, I think in, a, in, amazing, in an amazing way. It feels amazing to me and the women that I have an opportunity to serve. So here's the definition, the capacity to be aware, right? I was sharing with you that, you know, awareness, I have a tool that I actually taught in a master class last night, which I'm actually having again tonight. It was so good. Um, so if you're interested in that and you saw the link, you can still sign up bit.ly slash wthink, um, or you can message me and I can send you the link. But it's a tool that I created that helped me during my time of adversity when I was in one of the most transitional times in my life. And not only does that tool help me in huge times of transition, but it helps me in everyday situations where I may um, find myself thinking thoughts that don't align with where it is that I'm heading. I can quickly use the tool. And so I taught that in my As a Woman Thinks Masterclass last night, and you'll be able to um, get access to that too. It's going to be something I teach from a long-term perspective. So the tools and things that I give you are things that you can use for a lifetime to continuously grow your life. So I talk often about the difference in transaction and transformation. And transaction is normally something that you do that gives you um, benefit for the moment that you're in. But transformation not only changes the moment that you're in, but it changes the extended time in, in your life as well. And so I'm more into creating uh, products and opportunities for people that continue to change their life over and over again. And they ha have the ability to use those tools um, for a lifetime, right? Because we are um, thinking from an abundant space, which is an extended space that's not just in the moment. And so the whole concept and my teachings is centered around um, longevity. So anyway, it says the capacity to be aware, control and express one's emotions and handle interpersonal judiciously 
and empathetically. So interpersonal, let's do some breakdowns over here. You guys know I love words and I love to be able to make them plain for you. So interpersonal is communication between people. So many things go awry because of our, our lack of being able to communicate effectively what we're feeling, what the truth actually is. And then the most important thing, and this is when you have a champion mindset and you really wanted to gain dominion, your focus is on what is the ultimate desire. So often when um, there's a low space of emotional intelligence, the ability to think about what the ultimate end goal is gets blurred. So I, and this is why I talk about vision because the ultimate goal is always, you know, the, the big vision. And so one thing about people who are emotionally intelligent, they're always able to look at the big picture. And this helps them to be able to communicate with people on a different level. Judiciously is with good judgment, right? With good judgment or good sense. So the capacity to be aware of, control, and express one's emotions and handle interpersonal judiciously and empathetically. One of the great things about emotional intelligence, and, and this is a space that you actually can continue to grow in, and I believe that it grows the bigger your vision is and the more connected you are to your vision. Because in that space, you realize that some of the things that you may have allowed to throw you off or um, get in the way of what it is that you're wanting to do, when you're really connected to a bigger vision, you understand that some of the things that you may be spending time on or allowing you to um, have to continue stopping and starting in your process aren't really that serious. Like they just aren't really that serious in comparison to where it is that you're heading and this is where your vision comes into place. So your emotional intelligence affects your decision making affects your decision making. When we become better at making decisions, we are often less likely to continue being in uh, situations that aren't aligned with our vision, what it is we desire to create, how we desire to impact in the world, our decision making changes. And I believe that vision de determines your decision making. So most oftentimes when I see a cycle of um, failure, um, and I believe we all fail forward, hopefully forward, that's the goal to fail forward. Um, but when I see a cycle of it, I always assess to see if the person has a clear vision that they believe in, because vision dictates your decision making. It really does. Vision simplifies your life. When you get really focused on a clear vision, it simplifies your life. It helps you to, to decide what you're going to do, who you're going to do it with, how you're going to do it, right? Um, it, it helps you to make better decisions. So a person with emotional intelligence keeps going when the going gets tough. Now, I shared before, this isn't to be in denial about what you're experiencing. It's being able to process those things quickly, make a decision about how they impact where you are headed, and then respond accordingly. So a person with emotional intelligence is able to keep going when the going gets tough. Um, remember, I said this is not about being in denial, but this is about recognizing that where you are going is bigger than the moment, where you are, and what is occurring. Here are, I'm going to name maybe two or three of them and then invite you to come back with me at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to finish this out and just see how um, champions like yourself are able to use their emotional intelligence to move through life, hit great measures of success, and it's not because they don't have challenges coming in between. One of the attributes of someone operating with emo emotional intelligence is they can adjust easily. Now, that doesn't mean they're sacrificing, right? It's two completely different things, but they can adjust easily. Oftentimes, a person with emotional intelligence is able to process things really quickly and move past them, figure out the level of importance it really is, um, and is this something that they even spend time on. So sometimes you, you'll pass the... Um, 
you'll pass the baton in certain situations because it's not that serious because the ultimate end goal may be something completely different, right? Uh, next, a person who is operating in emotional intelligence is self-aware. Self-aware. This means that I understand how I function, focus, and operate in certain environments. This means I understand function and focus and operate in certain situations. This means I understand how certain things impact me and affect me. In our Master Life class uh, last night, As a Woman Thinks, I shared how being aware makes you decide who and what you are going to listen to. Because some things that may seem motivational, and this is so important, are not necessarily giving, giving you life. They're not necessarily life building. They may give you an aha, a feeling or a connection in the moment, but they aren't really building your life. And the level of clarity I taught to the women in the class helped them to become aware of what would be necessary because one of our goals is to um, see what we could manifest over the next 30 days. Um, so we did the one day master life class and then an accountability group for 30 days. And the goal is to gain clarity on where you're going, um, find out how you've actually been thinking about certain situations, even your money. So we talked about um, money mindset and where we adapt some of the thoughts that we have around money and how they may impact how we build our life and our business. And once we, we walk through the tool that I've created, once we walk through the tool and we walked through all of the possible limiting beliefs, we did scenarios, and then we created strategies for what we really desired. And then we'll spend the 30 days in accountability um, manifest, manifesting them. But it was f because I helped the women to move into a space of self-awareness. The next thing, and this is the last one that I'm going to share for this morning, um, a person who is motion has is operating in emotional intelligence is more controlled because their process, their, their ability to process uh, what's transpiring is really high. This is one of the, this is why I share that your mind has everything to do with everything you do, <laughs> your money and everything else. It, it really does. And champions learn to train their minds. It is also one of the huge things for those of you who are believers that is talked about in scripture, how, you know, daily we should be renewing our mind. And many people hear that, but they don't have um, the awareness of what they should be renewing their mind to. Like what is actually going to be life changing for me? What's going to spark my emotions or what's going to cause transformation? And there's two completely different things. Transformation can spark your emotions, but it also allows you to transform. And some things on lower dimensions or lower levels only spark your emotions, right? That's kind of the difference in transformation and just information. Some things will move you emotionally, and then some things will actually, they're going to move you emotionally, but they're actually going to transform and change your life. So one of the things about a person who is emotional, um, who shows emotional intelligence uh, practicing increasing your emotional intelligence increases your capacity it increases your capacity and when your capacity is increased the opportunities that you get the spaces that you are invited into the value in your business building process and the even the clients that you attract it changes right Remember, premium clients are attracted to premium services, and some of how we are able to create an experience for them is what impacts whether or not we are able to offer those uh, premium services and attract premium clients. If you didn't see, I did a um, video on creating pre premium services and attracting premium clients, and I shared how all of it is aligned with your thinking. So if you did not catch the As a Woman Thinks Masterclass last night, it was so good, I have decided to do a second round live. Normally I just allow people to get the replay, but I'm gonna do a second round live so you're not too late. 
you can join us tonight, same time, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can go now, save your seat. You'll get a link with all of your login information and all that good stuff. bit.ly slash wthink. bit.ly slash wthink. And we're going to continue the conversation. Make sure you meet me back here, 11.30 a.m., Eastern Standard Time. I'll be live. You'll be able to see me. Have a super, super amazing, blessed Monday morning. Peace.